Hey guys, today we're going to be um, learning how to make um, two motors spin. Um, and they're all connected through the same mechanism as the super, super simple circuit mark two. It's just, um, oh yeah, and if you don't know what that is, that's from my previous video. Um, so this is all pretty much a circle and it makes two motors spin instead of one. So if you ever want to make a car, which we'll, we will do a video on that, just a little toy car, maybe, um, a remote control one. Um, but if you ever want to do that, that'll be good for wheels. So we tell you guys how to do that. For this video, you will need tape or electrical tape as usual. So electrical tape would be this stuff. So tape, two DC motors, scissors, a switch, a battery pack. There's three triple A's in this, but really any battery pack or even a normal battery will work. Actually, no. Normal battery won't work, sorry. Um, and to just put these wires with the alligator clips. Okay, so to start off, we're pretty much going to make the super, super simple circuit mark two. So we just get a motor, the battery pack, find the two red wires, and you just want to make just a crisscross, so an X, like that. Get some tape. And just tape over that. So, once you've done that, red wire should be connected. And you should have the two black wires exposed. So then what we're going to do is we're going to wire in the switch. So to do that, we're going to use this alligator clip. And just, we'll just clip that onto the wire. And take the other end. You clip it literally wherever you want on the switch. It does not matter. So, oh, it does matter. It has to be on one of these hoops. So, once you get on there, nothing still happens because you've not completed the circuit. So, to make the super simple circuit mark two, you would literally just connect this with another alligator clip uh, to the right spot. Um, and that would make that motor go. But, in this uh, video, we're going to be making two motors. So, we're going to use that uh, second motor, which is right here. And, we are going to get that clip. And clip this onto it's the positive, so the red one. That's important. It has to be the uh, positive wire, so the red one. And then we'll complete this last. So that'll go aside. So you just have this motor and black wire exposed. So do the same that you did with the red wire in the beginning. You just want to uh, crisscross them. And then get a piece of tape, and then just tape that on. Oh, see, that's not what you want to do, because there you'll see that the metal parts of these wires did not touch. And I'm going to go through this. This is why you need scissors in almost all my videos. I have to explain this in my first one, but... Since this is such a small little metal part, you just want to carefully, do not cut through the whole thing, just make a little, oh, I cut through it, just make 
a little bit of a little notch in there. See that? And then you just want to use your nail and slide that off. So then we have more metal. Do the same to the other side. Okay. So once you do that, you'll have two nice long wires here. Then just get some tape after crisscrossing it and just tape them together. So now, once you've done that, the only connection that you don't have is this uh, alligator clip to this switch. So what you want to do is, I say this in all my videos, this is the easiest way. You just want to touch this metal part of the alligator clip to each one of these and nothing happens. So you just want to switch the switch. And that's making the motor spin. So you just want to clip it onto there and switch off. So now we have both our motors connected to a switch, connected to the battery pack, and then back to the motors. For proof that both of these are spinning, of course, gonna put some tape like I usually do. on both my motors. You do not need to do this. This is just me proving that these are spinning. Uh oh. This one over here is just taped down. There. So now you have two motors to one battery pack and one switch. So that's how you would wire that up. And yes, I built this using the Lego. So I should have the shot. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe.